So this dish is a really lovely, fragrant, light, healthy, summery salad. It's a very simple chicken salad, but it's got two quite special ingredients in it. One of which is quinoa. Quinoa is special because it is full of all the amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So it's very rare in a grainy type ingredients. In fact, it's not a grain, it's a seed, but it's very rare to find uh, the, all the amino acids in a format like this and it's got loads of B vitamins it's also got four times as much calcium as wheat has and the great thing about this as well is that you can use it in place of couscous or in, in place of a bulgur wheat and we're also using in this recipe preserved lemons and preserved lemons are um, lemons that are just packed into salt and the salt draws liquid out of them and it preserves them. And what you'll find is that the actual skins of the lemons are the flavoursome part. The pulp inside, which you would expect to be what you want to use, you actually throw away. Into this salad, I've put my quinoa. Now what I've done is I've taken the raw quinoa. Now that goes into a big pan of boiling water about 10 or 15 minutes depending on the brand. I've already done that. I've also poached a chicken breast. My method is to bring a pan of water to the boil, uh, put the chicken into it, simmer it for five minutes and then turn the heat off and just let it cool down in the liquid. And as the liquid's cooling down, the chicken will finish cooking but it won't contract and turn into rubber balls. So I'll start by making the dressing. About three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Um, good cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. Always use a really good brand, especially for salads, because you're really you going taste to taste the flavour yeah. of it. Right, so I've got two preserved lemons here, and I'm just going to chop them. And when you open them up, you can see that inside, the flesh is not very attractive looking. There's quite a few seeds in there. You definitely don't want the seeds. They're very bitter. Yeah. And then just take the skins and just chop them into sort of three millimeter or thereabouts pieces. So you just, they're very strong in flavor. So you really just want a little tiny taste explosion. So those are all going into my dressing. And I won't need to add any salt to that because these are all already quite salty. And that's your dressing. And if you, Kate, wouldn't mind just putting a little bit of black pepper in there for me. Okay. Gone one, the magic pepper grinder. Perfect, okay. So that's our dressing already. Now I'm gonna make the salad. The salad is super, super simple. Just lots of nice, fresh things going in with our quinoa. Slice those nice and finely. And don't get rid of all of the green part. There's plenty of flavor and goodness in the green as well as in the white. Okay, and then I'm going to chop some herbs. Just gather it all together. It smells lovely. It really, really does have that wonderful, aromatic, delicious, fragrance. And now I'm going to transport everything into my bowl. So all of my herbs in there with the cooked quinoa. Just give that a good stir around. I've got about the juice of one lemon that I'm going to add into that. That's just going to give it added thing. And actually if you've poached your chicken like this, the nicest way I find to serve it is actually just to tear it into shreds. It's much more natural way to follow the, the natural line of the chicken. Just rip that up and that can be stirred through. And then if you take something like this and just s spoon the salad onto it, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then I'm just going to spoon over this delicious dressing that's just going to soak into it. And this really does make all the difference and turn it into something really quite special. Lovely, sustaining, lots of protein in there, lots of freshness.